Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alex Mendez. Some people call me Blue Brawl, some people call me Bleep Bleep, but that's not relevant. What's relevant is that you're here for today for a simple tutorial on Mega Man Life Death Deathmatch Online. So, I'm basically going to go through the process of installing Dendronum, uh, installing Zoom Seeker, and setting up Zoom Seeker so you can play on Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch servers. Uh, so let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up a browser and then type in Zandronum.com. And this will take you to the website for Zandronum, the Doom 2 source port. Uh, this is the engine that's used for playing Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. Um, it's also mainly used for playing Doom 2 online with people. Uh, but we're going to focus mostly on downloading the engine uh, bundled with Doom Seeker. So on the download section here, we're going to see a list of downloads for different operating systems. Uh, Mac OS has its own installer, Windows has its own uh, installer, and there's also archives specifically for Linux. Uh, but we're going to focus simply on the installer for Windows. So once I click on the link here, it's going to download the program. And once the program is downloaded, I'll open it up and go through the installer. So here we are, and welcome to Zendronum Setup. It's going to show you where the program is going to be installed, and it's going to ask if you want to associate uh, PK3 or WAD files to the uh, program, which I do. So I'm going to click install. And there we go. Completing Zen uh, Zendronum Setup is finished. So I'll click finish, and I'll minimize the browser here. And what you should see on the uh, desktop is a shortcut for Doomseeker, which is the multiplayer server browser. So I'm going to double click on this, and I'm going to be greeted with a pop-up asking to configure Doomseeker so that I can start browsing for servers. So I'm going to click OK. And here on the Doomseeker configuration menu, I'm going to go through everything from top to bottom. So starting with engines, I'm going to basically look for the engine right here which is already uh, preloaded. I'm not going to touch that. Uh, again, custom parameters, you don't need to touch that for Mega Man 8-bit deathmatch. Master server address is correct and testing releases is used for people who want to test out new versions of Sanjonum. Uh, sometimes there is uh, servers, there are servers that will host the new versions of Sanjonum so every time you want to join those servers it'll download the uh, new Sanjonum builds onto this folder. And then finally, if I want to let servers see uh, which country I'm from, I can just tick that box, hit apply, and then we're good for that. Appearance. Um, so appearances basically relate to uh, player count in the servers, and it basically lets you show uh, the amount of players in each server, either as blocks, as marines, or as a number. So. We won't worry too much about that. Um, for auto updates, again, there is an option to notify you or don't install or to automatically install the latest version. I just leave it at notify me because the version of Zandro <laughs> Doomseeker that already comes installed with Zandronum is perfectly fine. If you want to uh, produce, uh, want to connect to custom servers, uh, you can do it by basically setting the box to Zandronum, hitting the add button and then typing out the IP address and port of the server you want to join. Go ahead and remove that. Server passwords, again not too relevant, only if you're uh, basically joining special servers. Uh, most of the server passwords will be stored here. Query, basically talks about how uh, the servers are queried so that it produces a list. Uh, so basically what will happen is that it will refresh the list of servers every time you start up the program, which is nice. And if you want to auto-refresh the servers, you can set it to auto-refresh every three minutes, or don't set it to refresh at all. Then it talks about the number of temps per server. I can set it uh, to as low as two, or you can set it to as high as five if you want. Delay between attempts, two seconds and then interval between different servers would be five milliseconds. And then there's presets to talk about uh, different refresh speeds, so cautious, moderate, aggressive, and very aggressive. If you want to make sure that you've got the whole list of servers, you can set it to cautious and then hit apply. Now file paths, super important. Uh, this is basically where Zandronum will, well, I mean, sorry, not Zandronum, but Doomseeker will look to figure out where all the different wads and PK3 files are. 
so. And for this uh, section, we're going to hit the Add button. And we're going to look for the Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch folder, which I have located in my Documents folder right here. So I'm going to double click on this folder, and it'll show that the folder is listed in the drop down box. I mean, not the drop down box, but in the small box here. And then when I hit Select Folder, you can see that whole address is going to appear in the File Path section. Hit Apply. And now every time a server is hosted, um, you can use this uh, basically file path to show that you already have Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch installed. Now, if I wanted to download mods manually, what I could do is then make a full mods folder inside Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch, and then select this folder here. And so if I wanted to download a mod manually, I could do so and then drag it to this folder here so that Doomseek can detect it. Uh, while I need this is, is mostly for uh, uh, Doom 2 and other related WADs. Uh, we're not going to hear too much about that. The only other thing we're going to look at is WADseeker. So WADseeker is basically the program that's used for downloading WADs off the internet so that you can join servers. So here in the general section it will show you where the WADs are stored and then here in the site section it will show you where it's getting the WADs from. The different websites here are listed uh, you can hit the Add Defaults button to make sure you've got all the websites needed. And then if you have any other websites, or know of any other websites that can help you download WADs, uh, you can basically type it down in the box here, and then hit the Add button. Uh, once you're done, you're going to hit Apply. And then last section here is the WADseeker Archive section. Basically, again, since there's a lot of Doom 2 WADs that have been made over the last uh, 20 or 5 or so years, uh, they get some of them get uploaded to the Ape Games archive. So if you ever feel like uh, playing Doom 2 or playing uh, Plutonia mods or playing pretty much any mod related to Doom uh, over the past 25 years, you can basically set up the Ape Games archive and the WAD archive to download the WADs for you. So they're already set up by default. You don't need to do anything. Just hit apply. Okay. So now here we are with the main UI. And again, if some of these columns are a little too narrow, you can move them to the right to expand them. So here we see the names of the servers, the addresses of the servers, the IP addresses, the IWAD or main WAD they're using, the current map they're on, and the list of WADs that are being used for that server, and the game type of the server. So you can see there's a lot of people on this server here, which is for, looks like, the Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch V6A. Now you might be asking yourself, okay, which servers are Mega Man, which ones are Doom 2? Well, to filter out by Mega Man, uh, you can use the IWAD column here and left click on it to show basically the list of servers that only have Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch hosted. What you could also do is you could use the search bar up here and then type in the letters MMAPDM to see which servers specifically have Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. And then the other method you could use is the server filter right here and then typing in the WAD section MMAPDM will show all the servers which have are hosted with Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. And you can see right here in the WAD section all these have Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch V6A, PK3 installed. So these are the servers that you should be okay to join. So I'm going to pick a random server as a quick example. Here we go. Manila map pack server pretty good um, and it's showing all uh, that I am missing a lot of uh, map packs from the game which is fine what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and double or actually not join this I'd rather join this randomizer plus map pack server and it'll show you how I'm missing even more wads here I'm gonna double click on this and it's showing me that the following files can be downloaded so I'm going to click install and it's going to start downloading all these PK, all these map packs and watch for me. So the reason I'm doing all this, uh, or the reason I'm downloading another copy of Zandronum, even though Make Man 8-Bit Deathmatch comes with its own copy, is that there's been instances of people losing their save data because uh, they join a V5 server uh, and get their V6 data corrupted. So in order to avoid the save data corruption, we're basically going to install another version of St. Jordan specifically for multiplayer so that save data isn't affected. 
Now again, this assumes that you know how to configure Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. If not, I'll leave a tutorial in the description to help you get started. But again, once the WADs are downloaded from all the different websites, it should uh, boot up the Zandronum and let you start playing. Now when you do this for the first time though, it should be worth noting that you will have to restart the whole configuration again. So that's why, you know, it's usually a good idea to join an empty server first and then um, basically uh, start configuration from there. The only other thing I would mention is that some wads can't be downloaded. Some of them have been privated or maybe they're being hosted by uh, specific groups. So it's always a good idea to ask around. Uh, usually the Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch Discord can help. Uh, I'll leave a link to that Discord in the description as well. Okay, so now that the peak watt map packs are finished downloading, it should start booting up Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch. <laughs> it's very loud. The music is very loud, sorry. But again, uh, that's pretty much it. If you know how to configure Mega Man 8-Bit Deathmatch, you can just restart the whole process from there. Otherwise, that's pretty much it for joining multiplayer servers. Um, thank you for your time. Hope you have a wonderful day.